What's up, everybody of Hookah Domain? This is Billy and Tyler. Today we're going to review a bowl that Neil was kind enough to send out to us. It's a homemade prototype of it's a... It's a mod-looking bowl with a funnel. It's a sod. That's my trademark name, trademark name for it. Since he has not come up with a name, I'm going to call it a pod bowl. And today we are smoking it's out of Tyler's Maya QT, courtesy of Neil. <clears throat> Using Tyler's mm -hmm. magnificent Maya 76 inch hose. Courtesy of Billy. Courtesy of me. So, we're going to get this packed up for you guys and probably smoke some hydro out of it and let you know how it goes. Stay tuned. Alrighty, Pickle, we are back. He is uh, attempting to find the coals right now. The pinchers are really good. And it's a chair at the camera. Anyways, he's getting the coals right now. This is our little setup. We can see the hose, the bowl. It looks pretty nice for wrapping foil. It's a lot prettier to play new. Anyways, let's. Coals are on. Well, now the coals are on. No special pattern with the foil, just you know what you do with regular funnel bowl, just poking around in one little home center. Um, pinchers still. Okay. So, we're going to give it a second to cook. And while we wait, I'm going to take a drink of my finger. Product placement. Let's see how it goes. How's the draw? Really good. I don't see any problems with it. Feels like a regular old bowl. I really want to smoke them out of it. I see no problem so far. There's a little bit of tension on the draw, but I'm going to make this weird bubbly can. But that made it through the foil. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Smells pretty good though. Tastes pretty good. Yeah. Flavor is a uh, Dr. 23 and Exotic. Exotic X? Yeah, exotic X mixed together because we're running low both. So hey. Um. So the draw, the draw does seem a little, I want to say tension, a little tension in the draw. So it's not nearly as good as, say, just a regular Tangier's foam bowl, but it's better than just a regular old mod bowl. Definitely. Yeah, also with this, I don't think all that juice is going to drip down. You don't get that uh, specific claw that you get with a lot of mod bowls, where the, the holes and stuff, they'll just tack down. That's, that's better you're getting. But, yeah. But overall, um, for me as a prototype, as a 10, uh, or as a rating out of 10, I would probably rate it around a good 7 or 8, just because of the little, the little cut back on the draw, but it's still, it as, you can see, as you can see, it's still smoking as good as any other bowl would. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, mean, I, I have no problems with it so far. Neil, if you want to make more and actually, like, full scale this. Make it a little prettier. Yeah, so I'd, I'd, I'd be more than happy to get one. But I, I'd say this is a... It's nice. It's compact. It's small. It looks good. doesn't look as weird when you put it on a... You can fool people, too. Hey, I have a mod bowl. Just kidding. It's a fod bowl. I'm still going to trademark that. Fod. Fod really. bowl. Remember that, Neil. Fod bowl. So what would be your overall rating? Eight. I give it an eight. So, an average of an eight. So, uh, if you're interested, give Neil a holler, and uh, I'm sure that these will be coming more popular pretty soon. Especially if uh, Neil, you know, gets them going. Alrighty guys, this is Tyler and Billy for CookieDomain.com, reviewing once again the Follet Bowl. Uh, yeah, say the buck about it. See you later.